All right, me back. Thought we'd do a little something different today. Um, I've got a bunch of private land to hunt. Haven't been to a lot of it. I'm sure there's a lot of mushrooms there. However, been seeing on Facebook a lot on the uh, mushroom forum site. A lot of people complaining with the amount of people out this year that they only have private ground or public ground to hunt and they're saying with all the pressure they can't find mushrooms on public ground so here we go i don't know if it gets more public than this this is a fish and wildlife area um it's close to where i live in muncie indiana so what we're going to try to do today is the public land challenge um there is cars everywhere out here i've never seen this many there are i've passed so many people but i decided well i've got spots out here i was thinking about giving them up this year because i knew there'd be a lot of pressure on them but then i thought well that sounds kind of fun so what we're doing today is we're going to head out in the woods with a bunch of people and see if we can find mushrooms walking up to the first spot here this should be pretty well beaten and there you go really two feet off the main trail so we're gonna see what we can do um this may be the only mushroom i can find maybe you guys are right maybe you can't find them on public land but i'm gonna give it a try I'll let you know what we come up with well i found the first one right there along the path i came in a little bit and found something that everybody hates to see there's a stem but the mushroom's missing so not sure if they found most of them and just missed the most obvious one but i guess we'll crawl around a little bit and check it out all right a couple feet away still right off this beaten trail here um got a nice one so don't know if not many have grown if the top of that one got taken by a animal of some variety knocked over whatever um well they just didn't really come that far back so good sign haven't been in the woods more than maybe 10 minutes so excellent still out on the trail um got a few and then uh, i may not even leave the trail today and he's kind of head back here but not really not really. All right. All right. Well, we appear to be establishing a pattern, and that is don't leave the trail. Oh, drop my water. Didn't do that. I was standing right on top of that guy. Side of this little, and there's another one over there. Out of this little stretch right here. Back in the hat. All right, moved actually into the woods check some black spots the whole outskirt of the woods a lot of times where you find like the early grays early yellows it is just saturated with people um haven't seen one person with 20 but i've seen 20 people with one so there's a lot of people out but surprisingly when you get into the woods i haven't seen a single soul so pick this guy up on the trail down the way this guy a lot fresher so probably crawl around here for a little bit see if anything pops up and then uh, make a decision from there where we're going he's nice in case you're wondering yes it absolutely does stink like poop out here again didn't until i walked up on these i 
guy has been out for a little bit. Alright. Another nice guy right here. Um, I think it, the, the good thing for me, I believe, is I don't think the blacks have really even started to come up yet. And it looks like everybody's kind of gave up on them and moved on to the yellows. So, that's good news. Um, I actually like picking the yellows more than anything else. The blacks or the grays, just because I think they're cool and I like looking at them. Um, but if you're hunting public land and the goal today is to try to get a decent bag together, um, I'm thinking the, the blacks are our safest bet right now. So, okay, look at this. These blacks normally grow in a line. Um, if you can find the next, you can generally just keep walking in that direction and picking up one every now and then. So here we go. We got. This guy here. And then we got that guy there. And then we got that guy there. And I would imagine there's probably some more around here. I don't know if they could be any more obvious than than that. All right. I don't think it much matters how many people are on a piece of land. I don't think it is ever truly hunted out. Very okay. nice ones. Got another, well, had another nicer one, and then I hit it with a stick. Anyway, right off the trail, wouldn't you know. Um, seems like they're coming one at a time. We're certainly not killing it, but we are slowly getting there. There you are. He ain't much to look at. Just a free rambling man. Uh, probably wouldn't take this. But public property, state land, we are taking everything. All right, well, this is kind of odd. I'm crossing one large hill onto the next side. Um, and generally I will not even walk like a well-beaten path because I'm assuming on public land it has to be pretty beat. So anyway, legs are tired so I picked the course of the least resistance. <clears throat> and, surprisingly, it looked like it paid off. Um, let's see here. Yep, still have a knife. Oh, I'm seeing quite a few more. All right. That guy. And that guy. And that guy. <clears throat> I don't see any more right there, but I do see at least one more head of that direction, so let's see if it'll lead us to something good. One actually got knocked over from the base and died. Oh. Uh, 
All right, moving on down the way. Um, this spot normally pays off. I walked up, didn't see much other than that huge thorn I just put my hand into. Jesus. And then, okay, I'm gonna use it farther over. See if I can get my knee into one too. Somebody's been here and he was just pretty well hidden and survived or that's all we got. I'll look around. All right, we're back. It decided it was gonna start raining on us. Didn't have a rain jacket on me, I had to run back to the car. It was too long of a walk to get back to where we were, so I just decided to hit another spot. It looked like it might not have been the worst thing in the world. Been out here a few minutes, picked this guy up down the road and just came across that. He's nice. All right. Well, hopefully we can figure some more stuff out. Get back with you on the next one. Oh, smaller stuff in here. Trying to be quiet. There's people literally right down there not really a huge fan of the small stuff but it takes what we can get it's been about half hour since we were picking that little stuff covered a lot of ground in between there uh, finally came up with another spot and nice yellow there i got that one i got another one down here by my bag the numbers I was looking for but it's a lot better than picking that little st stuff that we were at the last spot. I kind of scout it around here and there we go. We got this guy down here which looks to be the winner of the group. Hasn't even stood up yet. All right, what do you think? Should we cross it? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> no. All right, made it back to the car. It's been about four hours. This is what we came up with. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of work for maybe a pound and a half, maybe two tops. Um, that's where we are. If you know where we're at, you know where we're at. Definitely public ground, definitely a lot of people. Was it worth it? Uh, four hours for that? I don't know. Comment down below, tell me if you think that is walking worth walking around for four hours to find. Guess it depends on how much you like mushrooms. All right, appreciate you coming along.